What's going on guys, Money Man Jeff here. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how I made $385 profit by reaching out to one customer. There's gonna be times, ladies and gentlemen, when we're running Facebook paid ads or Instagram ads, and we have a bunch of customers who are interested in selling to us, but for whatever reason, they never got to us, never commuted up with us, maybe life happened, maybe they had uh, a, a meeting at work, maybe they take the kids to the doctor, maybe just life happened and they just couldn't find the time in their busy schedule to meet up with you. And that's why it's important that you reach out to all your customers in your inbox. Even the people who did sell to you, let three, four, five months go by and attack your inbox again. Because remember, every single time you run a Facebook paid ad, every single person who ever contacts you, you're gonna have their information saved. You're able to use that information to go ahead and reach out to them again. So you're not one, spending money on ads and two, locking in deals that you didn't think you would get. So if I never hit this guy up, I would have never made an extra $385 profit. I didn't have this in mind. I was just bored and say, hey, let me hit this guy back up, see what he says. So this iPhone 13 was one of the phones he sold me. It's locked to T-Mobile, it's not paid off. I paid $80 for it, I'm gonna sell it for $170, making me $90 profit off of this phone right here. It's in great condition, no damages, no dings. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty good phone for what it is, right? And then the next phone right we have is this 13 Pro Max, same thing, locked to T-Mobile, not paid off. It's a finance phone. And what do we do with these phones that are finance? We can still buy them, we don't gotta pay the bill, we don't gotta take over the contract, we don't gotta do none of that. We're simply buying something from someone and then reselling to the wholesale buyers. So I paid 215 for this, I'm gonna sell it for 350, making $135 profit off of this phone right here. Remember guys, finance phones, AKA Bad ESN, carrier lock not paid off all these phones are the type of phones that we can get so if you can't afford to get an unlocked phone to flip because you know unlocked phones are have, are worth more that have a higher value then focus on the phones that are carrier locked maybe the phones that are passcode locked maybe the phones that are damaged focus on these types of phones because these phones you're gonna be able to get for a cheaper price and then still be able to resell for a good chunk of change now the last phone he sold us was this iPhone 14 Pro Max. This one, in fact, is unlocked. I paid 540 for it, and I'm gonna resell it for 700 bucks, making myself a total of combination of these phones, 385 profit, right? So here we have it. 90 for this phone, 135 profit for this phone, and then 160 for this phone. This is a beautiful phone, even though it's old, it's one of my favorite colors that they have, purple. I think this is one of the dopest colors they came out with. I actually wish the new 16 Pro Max is when it came out like red or some type of crazy blue or something different. I think the desert, desert, the desert titanium is the same shit as the rose gold and the gold. We all had those colors, but it's very few you get a phone like this. It's so sexy. I mean, look at this purple. This thing is beautiful. We need to come out with the red one. Apple, if you're watching this video, you need to come out with the red iPhone next year because these colors, they came out bland this year. But anyways, guys, you see why these phones have value. Same way, you know how I'm commenting good things about this phone, how sexy it is, how clean it is. And I'm, I could guarantee most of you watching this right now could guarantee say this phone is sexy. I mean, look at this purple. So you see the demand for it. People find it appealing. People want it. Even if you couldn't afford the 16 Pro Max, you could find a 14 Pro Max. Instead of spending 13, 1400 bucks on a new phone, you get a, a new phone, a, another phone used just like this in good condition for half the price. So guys, focus on the used market. Focus on the used uh, carrier locked phones because there's money in this. I'm just saying that to encourage you guys who are watching this video for the first time. Maybe you never thought about flipping a carrier locked phone or a finance phone, right? Well, you can. Now, if you're watching this video for the first time, you know that this is 100% a possibility you could flip any type of phone the only phones that wouldn't flip are phones that are reported stolen and if a phone's reported stolen you simply don't buy it but then you're gonna ask me if you're watching this video for the first time how do you know the phone's reported stolen i'm gonna give you a free tip go on sickw.com and then put the phone's imei on the free apple checker and you'll see if that phone's reported stolen if it's blacklisted and if it's all of those above you just avoid it right don't get yourself jammed up trying to rush to a deal get only phones that are clean good condition not blacklisted etc etc even though there are buyers who buy blacklisted but if you're just beginning just focus on the clean stuff and then you'll tap into the other stuff later on as you get more experience so if you guys are looking to get started with phone flipping you want more information i'll leave a link down below for you to book a call with me the booking of the call is free so i'm not going to charge you 
pick my brain, ask me questions, and I'll be more than glad to point you in the right direction. Remember guys, we are in prime season, whether you're flipping the NIBs, whether you're flipping regular phones, there's money to be made out here, so do not sleep on the opportunity because you can make great money from now to December. I mean, you can always make great money phone flipping, but now more than ever, we're on fire. Anyways, guys, catch you in the next video.